Moneyball is an account that I follow in part because we get data like this, weekly numbers from the different OEMs on what they're doing for sales. For example, uh, less than an hour ago from the time that I'm recording this, we did get these data points and that's why I wanted to share it. Uh, also, the research point for anyone who wants to follow who isn't currently following, and that is China NEV October 3rd through 9th October sales. And NEO, it shows as having done 1,228 sales. Now, of course, this doesn't necessarily correlate to deliveries exactly. Uh, and the other thing to take note of is this is not the full month of October. This is just a week's worth. And it falls during the time frame where there was a week-long holiday in China. But what about the first couple of days in China? Do we have numbers for those? Yes, we do. But it was compiled with the week, and it was the last week of September. So those first couple of days in October, uh, and including that full week, the total for that full week of sales also put out by him uh, was 3,855. Since it was just a couple of days of the month, I didn't talk about that yet in a video. But if we would average that out at, let's say, 500 uh, per day, then that's another roughly 1,000 on top of this now new and recent number of 1,228. So if Neo is roughly a little over, you know, 20, let's say 2,500 roughly for the month, uh, then that's through about 10 days of the month worth of data. Uh, and so obviously I'm hoping to see an uptick from that. I'm wondering, I don't know if anyone is researching in depth enough to be aware of this and to do like a, a FUD type of video on it saying, oh, Neo production's down or that sort of thing, uh, or the sales are going to be bad or, or anything like that. Uh, but I want to know from you all, what are your thoughts? I'm still looking for and expecting Neo to have a delivery record in October, as they told us in the last earnings call that they would. And I, I still understand that it may take them a minute to ramp up and get production uh, and deliveries out like I'm hoping to see them get out. But I also think it's realistic for them to come in with a new record. And this is why in June, before Neo Park, the first phase was online, which means without the ET5 being delivered at all, Neo was able to do almost 13,000 in deliveries. And that's the best month they've had. Now, there has been an issue with the ET7. The casting has kept that down. I believe it also negatively impacted or affected the ES6, which also those were the two best sellers that were delivered the most in that month. And so those are a couple of the, the metrics or data points I've been watching for an uptick on. We really haven't quite seen that. So will October be the month? I think it's possible. And that's one of the things that I believe they were asked about and kind of, I don't know if it was in an earnings call, but I think they indicated that it should be a non-issue very soon. As well, we haven't seen the full on double shift capacity from the original factory. And then the Neo Park, of course, the ET5, they only had one day of deliveries. And we don't know how many days they were producing to, to actually position for that one day of delivery. So I don't want to presume that the 200 plus number you know, times 30 days a month will equate into 6,000 more. Uh, I, I do think that 5,000 is reasonable. So there again, even if we just figure uh, with the five models coming out of the existing plant and they're working up to the double shifts, I do think 10,000 is very reasonable from there. We've already seen them do more than that. Uh, and again, that's kind of the baseline, I believe, from the original plant. So then if we can get another 5,000 roughly of the ET5 from the new Neo Park uh, first phase, then that would put us at a 15,000 number. But because I want to be conservative and short term, just with the volatility, the craziness, everything that's going on, such negative sentiment all throughout the market. And with Neo, I'm just kind of like, hey, Aaron, rein in expectations. And let's just hope to see that 13,000 to 15,000 number. I will come back and we'll do another video like this, but I'll have more. Uh, recent numbers prior to the delivery numbers. That's what I did last month. And I ended up being pretty close on, on the uh, estimate that I thought Neo would get out. So at least we'll have a, a better sense of what Neo should be delivering for the month when it comes to the end of the month. But for now, just a quick hitter, wanted to get this out and share the data points, the account, if anybody wants to follow. A lot of what I do on Twitter is research related. It's specifically and focused, like geared toward that. Uh, and so you can always look at other folks I'm, I'm following as well. A lot of them are for Neo, not all for Neo, some for other 
macro and other sort of there are different reasons there are different reasons i do things you're always welcome to pop up and ask and i am going to try to get out i need to get i'm so many videos behind it's ridiculous but i'll try and get out uh i want to do it yesterday it didn't happen a response video because there are a lot of comments i'm way behind on it and it's going to be fun i'm i'm really looking forward to it i'm going to bring more of my humor and, and do kind of a longer video that goes into it gives me the chance to really nerd out and so i enjoy that as well so anyway hopefully i can get that thing out soon in the next day or so maybe two we'll see what happens anyway thanks folks and we'll see y'all again real soon